bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And that's my personal motto. Today I'm going to replace the turn signals on my 2020 Subaru Forester. And they've changed the way you get into to access the turn signal lamp. So if you're just replacing a lamp, this video also will help you. But I'm going with the LEDs for brightness, for safety on the interstate. I want to be able to let people know behind me, aside from my brake lights, that there's a problem or traffic's coming to a stop up ahead. So here's how you install them. It's very easy, but there is a trick to it on this newer model Subaru. Unless you're watching this five years from when I made it, and then on this older model Subaru Forester. This is my third Subaru Forester, and they've changed how you get in to access that. And it's a little bit tricky, this is a 2020 version, and I know the 2021 looks the same. First, it has these little plastic pop-outs. And the trick to this is, once it's in there, I can almost unscrew it by hand, you have to make sure that this outer ring does not rotate when you're removing it. There are two of them, and it's a Phillips head and if it's if it starts rotating just take your finger and hold that inner ring in and very lightly you're not unscrewing anything it's just moving that screw out just a little bit and actually i'm better off without the screwdriver and once it pops out just a very small amount it's about well a quarter of an inch and you can kind of slip it out now it's about maybe a half inch, and then that whole plastic unit will come out. So there's two of them, one up above, one below. Okay, that pulls out. The next step, they used to have two bolts here that you would remove um, this piece with, or you could pop this unit where the the uh, lamp is it would pop out now you have to take off this plastic shield okay if you look closely there's a black piece of the of the lens but behind it there's a line where this is you just slip your thumb nail under there now you can lift this plastic piece right out but it's very tricky and that's the only way to get it <clears throat> it'll come out very smoothly but it's getting something in there. I just used my thumbnail to pry that out. Now you have access to the two uh, bolts that ha hold that on there, and you will need to take those out. This is a 10 millimeter socket. Now this lamp just slides back and pops off. That gives you access to the turn signal bulb. Now you can unplug this and it gives you easier access. And from what I can tell, the brake lights and all these are LEDs and I don't see where you can replace them. You'd replace this whole plastic unit. But the turn signal, you can. Today I'll be installing the Oxalam LED turn signal and hazard warning lamp. I've had these before, they're very, very bright. So it's a pretty simple replacement. I go ahead and put on rubber gloves now, even neither one of these are halogen, but I just think it's better not to have the oil from my fingers. So it's a simple, just pops and unplugs. And the new one just plugs right in. This particular brand has a built-in resistor, so you don't have to worry about hyperflash. And so this is kind of a magnifier that goes straight to the back, and that makes the incredible brightness. Once you find the right spot, it's a simple quarter turn clockwise. And to put this back in place, if you look carefully, there's a little shoe. As I find it, it's right back here. You're probably not going to be able to see it in the light, but it's right where my finger is. 
and that slides in there and there's two posts once you get everything lined up it just kind of snaps right into place now it's just a matter of putting two bolts back in place snug but you don't want to over tighten because you're dealing with plastics that cover that we talked about before and it pretty much has a guide so it slides right back in place done now those two maybe those plastic pieces what you're gonna do is slide it so the screw is out that a little less than a half an inch slide it in the opening and now tighten and when I say tighten, you're just turning it to where it uh, is like close. It's kind of open and closed. It's not going to tighten like a traditional uh, screw. Slides in. Twist all the screws all the way in. You're done. So let me show you the difference between the two. So on the right, as you're viewing the screen, is the original equipment lamp. And here is the LED. I think you can tell from this view the dramatic difference in the LED. So that's it, quick and simple. Thanks for watching this episode of A Little Bit About Everything and A Whole Lot About Nothing. I hope if you found this helpful, you'll subscribe to my channel.